uh, few languages uh, make use of both compiler and interpreters for example you might have used uh, VB so during uh, source code development or editing languages like VB use uh, interpreter so whenever you write in a statement and you enter you might see those uh, red or green or blue wrinkled lines which, which actually tells about any error or anything that needs your attention because as soon as you ent hit enter the statement is being interpreted and uh, when you execute the program it uses the compiler and produces uh, .exe executable file but sometimes uh, it is a different case for example when the programming languages uh, uh, sometimes uh, uh, older programming languages which are now quite popular like Java was uh, when it was created a different philosophy was applied to how to use it each different type of computer has to have a Java virtual machine created for it so the philosophy of Java is that you write a program for uh, uh, one time and it will be executed on any computer in the world no matter which hardware which processor which operating system it is making use of so what actually happens that uh, you write the computer Java code um, in um, Unicode characters or in text and then Java compiles it but it does not compile it fully to the executable form it compiles it half that half compiled Java code is called uh, bytecode then that uh, bytecode is uh, kept somewhere on internet and whatever the machine that is um, executing that program downloads and then interprets that bytecode and executes it no matter if it is Windows computer Linux or Mac this very program that you see over here is called uh, Duseri which I am making use of to um, uh, uh, um, record this lecture and make these slides is Duseri and it is also uh, made in Java and JVM for this iPad is working uh, and executing this program for me so another example is Java bytecode sorry this is the same single word um, it is uh, partially compiled code when sent to any machine over the internet Java virtual machine completes the conversion for that particular architecture and executes the code remember it Java JVM interprets the program it does not compile it further it inter interprets the program so let me tell you once again that uh, JVM is actually a program made by Java company for every single uh, computer in the world which uh, uh, is having a different architecture. So in order to achieve a shorter execution time many programming languages uh, like Java's program use a system that is partially uh, compilation and partially interpretation. The source code is checked and translated by a compiler into the object code. The compiled object code is a low level machine independent code called uh, bytecode. To execute the program the object code uh, can be interpreted by an interpreter or compiled using the computer. For example Java uh, and sometimes Python programs can be translated by compiler into set of instructions for a virtual machine. These instructions called bytecode and then interpreted by an interpreter. So that is how it works. Thank you.